welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. When I tell you when I got this package that I like screamed a little out loud and also inside my heart, I'm not lying. I'm not lying to you. I was recently sent the Corpse Bride collection in collaboration with Revolution Beauty and I am so excited to just talk about it and share with it. I was one of those kids who, you know, loved The Nightmare Before Christmas and wore a Jack Skellington uh, sweatshirt every single day to school. That thing did not get washed. I grew up in Arizona, okay? This should not be, I was, this is, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of memories here, okay? I loved Hot Topic. I loved getting any of the creepy spooky stuff. I loved all of it, right? So I was into Corpse Bride. Not as much as the other stuff, but I'm not gonna lie, my 13 year old heart just screamed out loud when I got sent this <laughs> collection. It did, okay? I cannot lie to you. Not sure if I would have picked this collection up and I honestly like, only vaguely remember something like this coming out. So I think there was a bit of like, oh my gosh, this exists and it's in my house and in my hands right now. But Revolution Beauty did it. They collabed with Corpse Bride and I thought that I would share with you swatches and this look. So I'll have timestamps all down below. I wanna run through what's in the collection first before we get into swatches. This is the upstairs downstairs palette. It has really cute graphics. It's like they're above ground, you know, below ground type thing. And inside it is a very pretty color story. I think I was really shocked by how pretty I liked, like how much I liked this. I thought it was actually good. In terms of color, I felt like it stayed with those blue purple themes, which I feel like so many palettes are like having this like blue purple moment right now. This is what I did my look with today. This retails for $25. This one was the other one. Like I just loved this packaging. I wish the color story of that one was in here. This is the butterfly eyeshadow palette. This one retails for $20 US and inside you have smaller pans, circular. Then there were two nine pans. This one is the newlyweds palette. Again, a similar color story. I think this one's quite condensed and I think the packaging is fairly substantial. It has a nice mirror. And then this one I think is so fun. This is called Grave Misunderstanding. And inside, kind of shocking, you would have thought maybe green, maybe something else. No, <laughs> no, no, peaches. They needed to make something for people who want to wear neutrals, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is kind of more that neutrally one and I'm excited to swatch these out I haven't swatched all of them out yet um, Even though I've done the look so I definitely want to do that last couple of things There are three different lipsticks in here. One is Emily one is Victor and one is Victoria So I'm gonna actually swatch these out for you guys as well And then the last thing that was in the package This is the brush set so it comes with a brush roll and it looks like four different brushes here So yeah, I don't know I this one got me I'm not gonna lie I think it's like perfect timing right before we're going into October. I definitely want to be reaching for more spooky palettes and I know I'm gonna get this up like a little bit before October just because I haven't seen anyone talk about this yet. So I thought if any of you guys were wondering about it, I could get those swatches up so you could decide if you want it or not before potentially it sells out. I don't know. I mean, to me, this feels like, oh my gosh, the collab. But I know that like back then that was not how it was. Like <laughs> not everyone was obsessed with court bride and the, you know, the nightmare for Christmas. So it's probably the same now. Although Sam and I were just at the mall walking, we passed by a hot topic, which was just like memory central. Although it's a little bit different than it used to on the outside, there were all these shirts and I was telling Sam like, yep, that's, <laughs> I would've wore that, that I would've wore. <laughs> and I think actually the nightmare before Christmas stuff was just front and center, like still. And we were like, man, just like, it holds up, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbing on. I'm gonna get into some detailed swatches. I'm gonna do overhead so you guys can see everything in a little bit more detail. You'll have to let me know if you like that style of swatches as opposed to me just like holding them. And then after that, we'll get into the look and some of my thoughts and first impressions. So um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys, so here is the collection that I have to swatch for you guys. I do also have the brushes, but I don't think I'm gonna be opening these since I don't think I'm gonna use them. So um, this I'll be passing on. But I do wanna swatch these for you. So far, I've only used the upstairs downstairs palette. I haven't used anything else. So um, it'll be my first time kind of like getting in there and swatching. So let's see how it is. I'm going to start with these two smaller pans first. So this is the Newlyweds palette. This is the Grave Misunderstandings palette. And these both retail for 10 pounds or 21 US dollars. The packaging is like a metal tin. And then it kind of has like a scene from the movie essentially on them. So this is the back and then inside, this one has a mirror and the color story on this one is very blue. And then this one has the skeletons. 
and then that's what the back looks like and again it's a tin with a more warm and pink color story kind of unexpected that this one isn't like green or a different color but that is what it is so let's get to swatching All right, so here is the palette swatched out. I feel like it's pretty good, pretty promising. I haven't used these on my eyes yet, so I can't really tell you that, but that's the color story, very blue. I definitely think if you're looking to be the corpse right for Halloween, this is the palette for you. You can definitely get that look if you don't have these colors in your collection already. I did find that this was a, a bit of a rougher texture, like kind of um, gritty almost, but it's very pigmented. So I don't know if it's just like a different formula or whatnot, but it probably is the most pigmented one out of all of them. But yeah, we'll see if these actually stain. Mostly mattes, only three shimmers in this palette. Next, I'm gonna swatch out the Grave Misunderstandings palette. Okay, so that's Grave Misunderstandings. I love this color so much. Both of these are kind of this PC, like flaky texture, but the formula on them is also kind of like a foiled, like it's like a thicker, I don't know, it's an interesting formula, but this shade's really beautiful. I think the mattes are pretty. I think this is just such an odd color story, if I'm being honest. Like it's so pink and girly. It's not even like sticking to neutrals only. Like these are very pink and these two mattes seem very similar. So um, yeah, I don't know, kind of a weird one, but that's it. Next, I wanna swatch out the Butterfly palette. This one I think is really pretty. Like I love that it's the shape. It's kind of thicker and has like a foam in it. And then that's what the back looks like. It does have a mirror, but this mirror is not very good quality, I don't think. And then this is the inside of the palette. I think the color story is really pretty and it makes sense to me with the collection, so I like that. These are quite small little circular pans and I like that they're kind of fitting a lot into this small palette. So let's see how it swatches. Again, I haven't tried this one yet. All right, so here is the Butterfly palette swatched out. I think this one's pretty true to like colors in the movie and you know, you could get a lot of looks inspired specifically by it. It does have like kind of something unexpected with this golden shade and this is quite sparkly. Like it's kind of chunky in texture. It's really quite pretty. Um, and I think this one is, is a nice color story. Definitely a little bit more muted, definitely cool toned with those blues and purples. I really liked this shade as well, this kind of periwinkle. Um, the last shade in here is kind of a duochrome. It's kind of sheer, not a lot of pigment coming off, but that is what that one looks like. All right, and the last palette is the Upstairs Downstairs palette. I think that this one is probably like actual colors are my favorite, um, but it has like the different things here and then you open it and on each side. I think this is the most like bright and more me, I guess, out of all of them. Um, if I can put them all here really fast, you can see them next to each other. So as you can see here, I feel like they all kind of fall in the same line, especially like this one, this one, and this one. I mean, this is a, on its own trip a bit, <laughs> but even this, you can see some of those warm tones popping here with this color, even this like light peach kind of going into this palette. And so as you can see here, I definitely think that there's a lot of repetition between them. And I don't think this is a collection that, you know, it would really benefit you to get all of the palettes. I think picking the one that best suits you, that you'll use the most, or you like the packaging the most or whatever is the best. And then letting the other ones go because you are gonna get, I feel like a lot of repeat or just similar enough shades that you don't 
you know, necessarily need. If you're trying to get talked out of one or another, just thought I'd show them all next to each other. Anyway, back to this palette. I think this is the most like bright and kind of punchy. There aren't that many like deeper colors in here of like blacks and grays. This one here is kind of the darkest it goes, but other than that, it stays pretty colorful. So um, I wanna get this one swatched out. I'm gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be a, a, a lot of swatches because this is kind of a, <laughs> a big palette, but let's just get this swatched out. Oh my gosh, okay, it's like up my arm here, but um, there are all of the swatches. I definitely think that this palette is a lot brighter, kind of poppier. It reminds me of some of the Y2K stuff that's come out, especially like this section, you know, like lighter pastel -y type colors. I also think because some of these mattes, like this matte purple, this blue, this purple, they aren't as pigmented as you would expect, so they come off a little bit lighter and brighter um, than what you're seeing in here. Although Moonlight, very pigmented. Um, I also found that Poison is quite dark, you know, and, and a very pretty color, so, um, yeah, you'll see in the video how this palette does for me for the shades that I use, but um, I definitely think that this tends to lean a little bit lighter and brighter than it does like deeper and dark, which is my preference, but yeah, that is the Upstairs Downstairs palette. Last for the video, I wanna show you swatches of the lip colors just in case you're interested. And I do think that the packaging on these is kinda nice. You know, it's plastic and a little bit cheap, but I think that they did some cool detailing. So there's one Emily, Victor, and Victoria, and as you can see, they have it like on the packaging. They also have different caps as well. I thought it was cool too, cause even in the different packaging that you get, you get the different characters on them. I just thought that was, you know, like a nice little detail. Anyway, let's just get into swatching the Emily is like the perfect color for Emily, honestly. Oh, and it has like the little, um, like there's like a little skull on it. I thought that was cool. Anyway, okay, so this is Emily. I have not swatched a bullet lipstick and I don't know how freaking long. It's been so long, oh, okay, sorry. So that's Emily. Um, very much the color Emily's wearing on her lips throughout the video, very pink. Next we have Victor, which is probably, I don't know, the one that I like the most. It's a nice neutral. There is Victor. And then last we have Victoria. This is more of like a wine color and that's Victoria. So definitely what you see is what you get. It's like a cream lipstick formula, very good pigmentation. You know, not my style of lip product, so I think that I might keep this one and see how I like it. The other two I'll probably pass on, but I thought I would just swatch them so you guys could see what the colors are. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed seeing the swatches in case you were looking at any of these, wanted to see what they look like, um, but other than that, let's get into the demo. All right guys, let's get started, I'm so excited. I don't, I mean, there's so many palettes to use, but I do think the bigger one really calls to me. I think I'm like too zoomed in, just like a, li a little less. Okay, so you can actually see the palette. Hello, hi. <laughs> I'm not sure the exact name of this, but I mean, the inside of this just alone, I do think is really pretty, like. <gasps> It's colorful, lots of blues, purples, pinky tones. It's definitely giving me Corpse Bride, but make it makeup glam. I love it. So that's what I wanna work with today. There's no mirror in here, so I'll be pulling other palettes. There was a hair on my face. Oh my gosh, help, help, help. Can I get it? Okay. <laughs> this one has a mirror though, so I'll probably use this one, even though it's kind of wonky. It's a little wonky, but it's so pretty. I kind of wish the color story of this one was the other one. Anyway, I think first I'm gonna go in with this light lavender purple. It's very light. This one's called Mayhew, and I'm keeping this blended to the outer part of the eye. It's pretty powdery, but it's going on nicely for the color that it is. This is gonna be like our light 
beginning of a transition type color. I'm kind of thinking of keeping it like pinky purple out here, a little bit of blue coming, maybe some blue even here. I don't know. I have like an idea. I definitely want to use the colors of, you know, that you think of for Corpse Bride, but I'm not trying to like recreate her look, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm not the Corpse Bride. <laughs> I'm not trying to be the corpse bride right now. I think you could definitely get that look if you wanted to from this palette, but not what I'm doing today. I've been actually pretty damn impressed by the Revolution formula. Like even this is showing up so much more than I expected because it's pretty light. Next, I'm taking another fluffy blending brush. I think I'm gonna go in with this shade here. This is called, I keep holding it upside down. This one's called Elder Gutnik. Okay, it makes me feel like I don't even know the, the movie. I'm definitely watching Corpse Bride this Halloween. Last year for the month of Halloween, we watched tons of shows and movies. We tried to watch something every single day that like even kind of slightly was <laughs> Halloween-y. You know, we couldn't like do actually anything with our friends <laughs> or do anything we wanted to do. And that was really fun. So we've kind of already started we watched Coraline actually the other day. So I think that's part of why I was just like, oh my gosh, so excited to get this since they're, you know, similar. But we also started watching Midnight Mass. I don't know, what do you guys think of that? Have you seen it? I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. That one blended on pretty soft, but still there. I do wanna add more of the lavender cause I feel like it's getting a little lost. So I'm just blending that up even higher. I just like, I don't know why I love the way the lavender looks. <laughs> Okay, I'm taking yet another um, fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into, I think this more tealy blue instead of that like more baby blue. This one is called Town Crier and I wanna flick this into this front part of my, my eye look, just right here. Just as something kind of fun, a little unexpected. I feel like outside of the actual branding of this palette, this could be like Lisa Frank, this could be Y2K, like there's a lot of those types of colors going on. So if you like that, I feel like you'd like this, but if you're trying not to repeat colors, if you have a palette that kind of focuses on that, I think you'd be okay. You know, like you'd have it. But this one for me is definitely one where like the packaging kind of, kind of matters <laughs> since it's dealing with Corpse Bride. All right, I think it's looking really great. We're gonna start deepening up that outer corner. I really love this kind of purpley blue. This is called Everglot, and I'm gonna start patting that on into the outer corner. We'll see how pigmented this actually shows up. And I'm keeping it kind of lower. I still want that pink to show through. Definitely not layering as deep as I thought it would. Yeah, this one's definitely not layering, I feel like, like it should. I don't know if that's because I've already laid down powders, like some mattes are like that. It's not like super patchy, it's just like not pigmented, like it's not sticking. So I don't know, I'm not like happy that it did that. I wish that it just went on, but I need to play around to figure out why that's happening. Where we are though now, I think that I want to start adding the shimmer on. With this hand is so pretty, it's like a taupey, kind of neutral shade. So I'm gonna put that on the front part of my lids and I'm just tapping that on with my finger. This one is like nice and like sparkly, which you guys know I love. So I'm just tapping that on kind of like the front half. For the outer half, I don't know if I wanna go this purple, if I wanna go this blue. I think I'm gonna go with poison. I just wanna tap poison onto that outer portion of my eye. And then I think I'm gonna deepen everything up actually with black. That's kind of what I was thinking. I don't know, we'll see how this goes on. I'm just tapping it and kind of covering about halfway and into that outer corner. And then I'm gonna be blending quite a bit so that way it actually looks good. <laughs> I'm taking that kind of like pink shade and I'm just using that to kind of blend out. And I'm also still just using my finger. Um, so that's where we're at right now. I'm gonna go in with the shade Van Dort. It's like a more punchy purple. Um, and I wanna just kind of add this to the outer corner and just see what we get. And I definitely wanna punch that blue back up. All right, so there's like a ton of fallout. Um, I'm just kind of still blending between everything. I wanna start working on the lower lash line though. I think I wanna bring in some of the blue. Like I'm gonna try to bring this blue back in there, see what happens. Again, that's called Everglot. Yeah, it's just a lighter shade. Like it's just 
not as, it's like translucent almost. I'm just matching that up to the top part. And I'm only bringing it in about halfway. I really think this will benefit from a blue liner, so I'm gonna go get that. All right, I got this liner from Dose of Colors that's in a, like a navy. I'm gonna line the outer lash line. I'm also gonna line a little bit on top, a little tight line. All right, so the liner, I think definitely helped just like elevate it. I do want still something a little bit deeper on that outer corner. I'm gonna go in with downstairs, this purple, that domed brush, see what we could do. I think these just aren't really made to layer. I mean, I think my look is looking really beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely just taken a little finessing. It takes some finesse. I love that song. Okay, anyway, it's a little bit patchy over here, but I also feel like my eye is crying a little over there, so, uh, okay. I think the last thing I wanna do, I'm gonna pop, um, I think I'm gonna go into Underworld, this kind of shimmery blue. I'm popping this right like here on my lid kind of where we put that other blue down it's just not really there anymore I thought why not add a little <laughs> why not add one more step to this look but I think that's gonna be the last color from the palette I'm gonna be using I'm just going back in with that taupe though it's a lot of like layering to me to get the right combo and pigmentation after you blend this, gotta add this back, like that type of thing. All right, that's where we're at right now. Last thing before I add like mascara and maybe do a little blending on my own here. I do wanna add this, is like a separate thing. It's really sparkly and a stark white. I'm gonna be using this on my inner corner. Um, this is from Yes Style. It's from the brand, it's Holika Holika, I think. But I just, I love this for like a glittery, stark white kind of topper. I don't feel like this is the right brush for it, but I wanna put that on to my inner corner and my brow bone. All right, guys, the eye look is done. I wanna add the lip though. I think I'm actually gonna use one of the lips from the set. I'm like going toward Victoria. I also just kinda wanna use Stila Patina. I think that that would look really good because that's gonna look weird. Okay, I'm gonna add Stila Patina and then I'll show you guys a close up of the eye look. All right, guys, so here we are. I'm gonna zoom us in. This is the finished eye look. I really love the finished product. I think it looks really good. I did have some fallout. I added blush. I had to like touch all that up, but you know, I think overall really pretty, like a, a different look for me, I think. I don't usually go, I don't know, this complex. <laughs> is that a thing with so many shades, but that's it. I thought I would give you some of my thoughts after using this like a little bit more also so you can see the eye look all the way out. Overall, I really do like the color story. I think it's maybe as much as I love that it has so many like bright pops and I feel like I'm gonna use those a lot. I do wish there was like some more grays in here maybe, like charcoaly shades, maybe like a really pretty shimmery like black based blue or a black shimmery gray silver shade, something like that. Because there was this point where I was like, maybe I'll do all this cool blending on the outside and then I'll just put like a black shimmer all on the lid and blend out. But there wasn't that option, so I couldn't do that. Um, and I just feel like for Corpse Ride that would make sense, just color story. But don't get me wrong, I do love like how poppy it is in here. So, you know, just for actual use outside of how well it specifically goes with Corpse Bride. As for actual application, I think that these have a lot of potential and I do ultimately like the finished product. I just think that maybe this palette would benefit from doing simpler looks. Like when I only had a couple shades on my lid, if I just put on like a shimmer shade, I think that would have been, you know, really nice. But as I was trying to add more and layer more, I didn't find that the mattes were really layering super well. So that was kind of disappointing. I do like the colors of the mattes in here. And again, I think that like, if you're using them on their own, they have the best chance. Like specifically Everglot, I love that color. And I think that it would look good if I was putting it straight over a sticky base, you know, like it'd have the best pigmentation. Or even a lot of these I think would be enhanced by colored liners like I did on the lower lash line or again like a cream shadow that's a similar color to these i think that would really help just get the most out of these shadows that you could i want to see how much they actually retail for this retails for 25 and i don't think it's like bad for that price you're paying for like the packaging and the collaboration itself and i think you can definitely get something and make it work i think it's just not going to maybe be as easy as like higher end shadows or potentially other shadows. I do prefer, I think, the mattes over the shimmers. With this hand, 
front actually was pretty, it was pretty and it was PC, but um, you know, some of these other shimmers to me leave a little something to be desired and I can definitely see in the future with me using this palette, I'm gonna wanna bring in like my super sparkly shades. You know the ones I love from Cleona, from Glam Shop, from Shine by SD, those beautiful indie shadows that honestly, I kinda don't expect to get in palettes anyway, um, but I would definitely wanna pair those with these palettes, even like I did today with this single shadow. So that's just something I've come to learn. <laughs> It's just gonna be the thing. But I do think these could be nice for like simple looks, one shadow looks, three shadow looks, you know, they do help the palette. So anyway, that's kind of my first impressions on this. I do plan on using it, especially in the month of October. I'm really excited to be using like spooky palettes, like Halloween themed palettes. And for that reason, I do think some of these are gonna stay in my collection. Maybe that's just this year, but I kind of felt that way last year as well. And so I wouldn't be surprised if I start this kind of spooky stash of palettes that I bust out specifically to use during October, you know, like over the years kind of collecting them but we'll see but those are my thoughts on the palette the eye look i hope you guys enjoyed i hope the swatches at the beginning help you decide if this is something you want to pick up or if you want to save your money i'm not gonna lie i'm just so excited like this is one of the collabs that definitely is you know, enticing to me, it's nostalgic to me. I was one of those girls, you know, over at the Hot Topic, okay? <laughs> Loving on Corpse Sprite. So even though I'm not sure if I would have bought this palette, I definitely was so excited to get it, so excited to try it out. I'd love to know if you're gonna pick this palette up, and if you have, what do you guys think about it? But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.